You're listening to MLVC, the Madonna podcast, your place for all things Madonna Louise, Veronica Ciccone. I'm your unofficial celebration tour correspondent, Stefan. Today on the show, we have Justin, who attended last night's celebration tour in Phoenix, Arizona. Welcome to the show, Justin. Thank you, Stefan. Good to see you. Good to see you. What a tramp. <laughs> what a tramp. Thanks, Donald. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm referencing... Uh, Justin's wonderful Justify My Love picture hybrid What a Tramp t-shirt. Uh, is that what you wore to the show last night? I did, yeah. And it says the celebration tour at the bottom. So it was an original. Nice. So Donald, who, who, Donald who made that Ellie. for you? Donald Ellie. I think I said his last oh, name, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, yeah. Had him, we had him so, on the show a couple seasons yeah. ago. Yeah, he's great. So super talented. I love my shirt. So thank you, Donald. Nice. I'm glad. You, I love custom creations. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, so let's dive right in and talk about right, celebration. Was was this your first celebration tour experience? Third and final. Three times the charm. Were were the right. where were the where were the other two times that you saw her? Brooklyn in December. Uh, with my my New York girls. That nice. When, show. Which uh, which show in Brooklyn? We did the Thursday night, so I think the fourteenth. Um, okay. So I missed you by we, two days. I missed you by two days. Yeah. We ran into some people though. We ran into like a lot of people from the, the podcast that have been on the podcast. We saw Bright Light, Bright Light, and mm-hmm. just a couple other people. It's was, it was pretty good. Um, and that the seats were were good for that. We had kind of a straight on angle. I think we were in like the. 100 like high 100s or maybe low 200s i don't know but that's a pretty small venue barclays i love least. i honestly i don't remember Great. if i've ever seen a show in barclays before then but i'm like if i can ever see a show in barclays i yeah. will because it is so small there it's tiny yeah i saw rubble heart there too and my seats were also great um, but i really enjoyed that show because we were in the first row of our section so there's no one in front of us yeah. uh which was which was great um and then last week I went to LA at the forum on Saturday night. Um, and that was also great. We had kind of nosebleeds, but it was, I was kind of straight on from the, from the stage. Um, I went with like eight friends, my husband oh, and then fun. eight of our, eight of our friends. So it was, that was fantastic. Um, it's just fun to go with a big group. Did you have, any celebrity, did you have any celebrity sightings in LA? In LA, I'm trying to think, did I, did we see anyone famous? Um, I don't know. It's LA. Famous people everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think. I actually don't think we did. Um, just ran into a bunch of people that we know. I mean, it was honestly, like, sometimes it's such an onslaught of like sensory overload when you're at yeah, the show that like totally. it's. I mean, like when Liberty and I were at the Philly show, we kept running into people, like listeners and this that. And I was just like, I felt like I didn't even. I couldn't even like appreciate what was happening because it was just a constant, constant chaos happening. Right. You know, it was uh, yeah. It's a lot of people. Yeah, for sure. I, it's total sense of sensory overload. Um, but I was also in the nosebleed, so I don't think any, <laughs> anyone was going to be up there with us, which was fine. Also, the forum's a great venue. I, I, it's small. I think a couple of people have said that from people you talk to, which is great. And then last night we were on the floor. And again, like you said, multiple angles is key. Um, mm-hmm. I, I mean, it's being that close to Madonna. It was was fantastic. I'm not going to lie. Where, so where were your seats last night? Okay, so we were on the floor. Don't kill me. I can't remember which. Oh, you know, I remember. Like, I, so I think I think one of your friends posted video. You were on the side of the Papa Don't Preach uh, bed. Right. Uh, right. Yep. You you were a couple rows behind that, that, yep. that right handed catwalk. Right. And like right where that where the stage comes up for a bedtime story, like she was mm. right there. I mean, we were pretty close to her quite a bit. I'm not super tall, so I was like, and I don't really like pulling out my phone. I only took a couple pictures. I'm like not good at it. I just wanna he got some better video and he's taller than I am. So hopefully I'll get some good vid from him later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So over after seeing it three times now, what are your thoughts and impressions of the celebration tour? Oh, uh, it's phenomenal. I mean, this is, the, I've never seen a show three times. I usually go twice. 
um i don't know it's it's pretty epic like because you really like you you've said this a couple times with people on this uh on this tour it's like every time you go you see something different mm -hmm. uh and i think being up close i was like oh i'm more of like a wide visual person just in general i like to kind of like see everything going on so i've enjoyed my last couple seats brooklyn and la but being up close you get so much detail of like what they're wearing and how she's interacting like with her kids like it was so cute i was like oh my god you're like you're just their mom you know what i mean yeah and, like, yeah, just yeah. The, way she, the way she looks at them and like you know it's really really sweet and you can tell she has a good energy with her dancers like they genuinely seem like they're having a great time which I mean, that's what you want to see when you're at a concert. You don't want someone to be just going through the motions. You want them to look like they're actually in, into what they're doing, which was great. Totally. Yeah. And I think also now we've gotten to the point in the tour where they're past the halfway point, you know, like now yeah. it's like before they were sort of just like going along, going along. Now it's like more of like the countdown towards the end. Mm -hmm. So right. I'm sure maybe not madonna you know because i assume she after a while she's probably just like okay i'm I'm ready for this to be over but like the right. dancers i'm sure are becoming more nostalgic in terms of oh like, yeah let's appreciate this while we've got it because this you know a a list experience is is rapidly coming to a close 100 percent. plus the just the notoriety they're gonna get and like i mean think about all the dancers from the last tours that we all follow and think are amazing they've all had pretty impressive careers some of them you know what i mean it's like yeah. hopefully that works out for all of these guys and they are able to you know find find new equally cool jobs <laughs> yeah i mean i assume most i think all of the dancers for the most part are super young and right. they they will definitely have any dance opportunity they probably want after this or right depending on where do they want to go, you know, I mean, do they want right. to teach? Do they want to, you know, I'm sure there's going to be no shortage of opportunities open. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so what were some of your favorite parts from the show? So, and, and also I do <sighs> agree, like, I love having had the opportunity to get the full picture perspective because right. you can sort of see how they designed it. And then I love mm -hmm. Like if you come in a little closer and then you can sort of like feel like you're part of the show, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Being on the floor was, was, was pretty great. I'm not going to lie. I mean, nosebleeds were cool, but <laughs> being on the floor was, was pretty awesome. Yeah. Favorite parts. Um, I mean, I love the opening. I love, I love Ray of Light. It's one of my faves on um, the album. So she just looks amazing. I love the dress. It's phenomenal. Um, I really like, holiday especially it goes as it goes into live to tell uh yeah. it's just that the artistry is next level um especially for the queer community i just think it's fantastic um and i lose my absolute fucking shit for ray of light like mm -hmm. it's just the, the lasers and i love that that's my favorite remix we'll get there um i just absolutely lose my mind it's so cool and she's just up there and you can tell she's having a good time because she probably loves that song yeah um it's it's a absolute classic i mean i totally lose my mind it, and the energy at that point in the concert is just perfect mm -hmm. so yeah i love it um i'm those, trying to think my well, favorite parts oh those sorry are probably my favorite those are my three favorite parts if I had to. Gotcha. And so how what was the crowd like uh in Phoenix? I so some of the some of the like lesser known cities right. to, in, in terms of the market. Like and uh, I say lesser known, mm -hmm. meaning like non like no New York, no LA, no Miami. You know, like those are like right. the huge big banner cities. But like yep. Phoenix, Arizona, I thought that was one of those I mean, she's been to Arizona before, yeah. but I just thought it was one of those like sort of like oh that's a, a an interesting choice for yeah her to absolutely visit. what was the absolutely. crowd like it, they were on it i mean they were great and she even commented she's like i wasn't no i wasn't sure what to expect tonight but you guys are doing you guys are bringing it out and like i mean people were dressed up it is it is definitely a scene i mean obviously ski is a bit on the you know older side obvious because sure. it's madonna fan so but i mean you know the girls in there late forties to mid fifties were all in their eighties Madonna get up. It was nice. great. Like, ton, tons of gay boys. I mean, there was all the gays were out, like they're in full force, a lot of great t-shirts. 
Um, I did see quite a few, like we saw a couple like kids with, I mean, they were under 18 with their parents and they were dressed like eighties Madonna, which I thought was oh, awesome. I'm fun. like, you know about this from TikTok or literally your parents <laughs> are my age. And like, they probably, you probably grew up on Madonna cause mom and dad love them, you know? So yeah. Well, or except, I, mean, was... I, I applaud the parents that are taking their children yeah. to see Madonna because I think that's one of those things where the kids might not appreciate it in the moment or right. maybe they do, you know, like, but in 20 years, they will fully appreciate the fact that like, Oh wow. I got to see Madonna, you know, like right. what Absolutely. an awesome, like this icon in our entertainment industry and they'll, they'll love that. Yeah, absolutely. I went two of my friends I'm staying with here in Phoenix. Um, they've, this is their second time seeing Madonna and they went as kids, they can't remember which tour it was. I'm like dying. I'm like, what year was it? Like, I can tell you what tour and either of them could really remember, but they had, they had that same experience. Like they saw her when they were, you know, under 18. Um, yeah, and no. now they're going as, now they're going as adults. So it's like, you know, it's a totally different experience, but they remember it, which is cool that their parents took them. <laughs> yeah. Full, full circle almost. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. What did she talk about at, during the speech? Like her, her big post don't tell me speech. Oh my God. Yeah. I'm trying to remember it. So it was such a, it went so fast, but it, yeah. I'm trying to think, what did she talk about? Um, she was a little quieter than like, uh, she definitely is, was quicker this time than she was in Brooklyn In Brooklyn. She, she yapped on for quite a, yeah, yeah, yeah. she was yapping. I was like, all right, babe, we got it. Thanks. Um, I don't really I'm trying to remember. I think it's just the standard stuff that she's been talking about in all the shows. You Shine know? your light, uh, be be a light in the world. Right. That's right. Uh, do you, do yeah, you remember? Who, do you remember who the Vogue ballroom judge was? I I meant to look that up before we got on the call, Stefan, and I didn't. Um, I was. <laughs> do, I don't you know, know if do you know if it was a drag queen? It was definitely a drag queen. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, because that was one of the other interesting things where I'm like, yeah. what? Sh-? Like in LA, New York, Miami, you know, like Chicago, even, you know, I was like, okay, right. she'll, she'll have uh, celebrities that she can sort of bring up. But I was like, what's she going to do in the, like those other right. cities where it's like not really yeah, known right. for celebrities. And then, so I was curious right. who might be like somebody in, uh, yeah, in I, Phoenix. I, I should have asked the boys before I went to bed. I don't know if they recognized her. Well, I was going to say, you can't ask like them now because they're probably queen. still sleeping. They're probably still asleep. Yeah. They're, it's probably, it's probably a local queen. She was great. I mean, it was, it was, it was epic. I mean, I, I love that part of the show too. It's fantastic. So yeah, it's um, always, we had it's... My, my LA show. We had um, the one from euphoria and I don't watch the show, but it's on my list of shows to watch. So now I'm like, I want to see who it was. I looked her up. She's like, you know, Gen Z. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Alexi Kids. or Alexa yeah. or, um, yeah, I think that's a well, one. <clears throat> and uh, did she start at a decent hour last night for you? Do you remember what? I mean, time? I don't, be, I'm not bothered by it. I know, been going to Madonna concerts since, <laughs> since reinvention tour. Um, let me think. She's went on, I think, about 10.05, a little yeah, late. Yeah, I think that she's been averaging that time around now. Yeah. You know, like, it's, it's, yeah. And so, oh, and she so went on at 10, she went on at 10 at, on the dot in LA, like I think exactly 10. So she went on at five or 10 minutes later last night, which was fine. I mean, we were, we were just chatting with the people behind us. They were great. So yeah. yeah was everybody was awesome. standing on the floor? Did, did you, do you remember? Pretty, I mean, I wasn't even paying attention to anybody else. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure people, people were, I, I looked around a couple of times. Most of the people on the floor were, were into it and had their, fucking phones out the whole time which drives me crazy but it's fine you know it is what it is you can't yeah i try to film it. because i went to multiple shows i was like okay for some shows i'm gonna film uh a, or right. record record a couple songs but i was like i was i'm like back and forth between i'm like okay i'm just gonna appreciate this show and the, right. uh, you know appreciate this number and then i'll record this number instead and uh so that way so that i had a even mix of yeah taking stuff in live and you know because i was like at the end of the tour i'm like oh hopefully i'll have like had a chance to maybe record almost every number and like looking back on all the footage now i'm like 
oh, I don't have this number. I don't have that. Oh, number. You know, like there's just like, <laughs> yeah. I guess it's like the same numbers that I was like, oh, I'm going to take a break. During, like, I don't have everybody. Oh. I don't think I recorded bad girl. Uh, so that oh. it's like, it's just weird that I'm like, oh, I, I guess I was, this is when I was taking a break. <laughs> you know? Yeah, uh, totally. I know there's, it's, it's hard too. Cause you like, you want to get it as steady as possible. I see people trying to be, as, I'm not, I'm, I'm a boomer with a phone. I'm like, I don't know. I'm taking terrible pictures and <laughs> having to edit, edit it later. So I just wanted yeah. to like preserve the, the tour in as steady and solitary right. a moment as possible, just because I know that the ensuing tour film is going to be rapid fire cuts and edits. Yes. And, this, and I was like, I, I, I'm a purist. I just want to be able to see her perform and yep. take take it in as a spectator. And I know that that sort of eliminates the glitz and glam and you don't really feel the energy that you do when you're in person. But I was like, I don't care. I just want a Same. steady shot of Madonna right. dancing and moving and interacting with her dancers. That's all. So absolutely. Honestly, and like be great. I'm, people like us would pay for both. You know, I'd pay for that still one and then the like one that's going to give me, you know, vertigo. But <laughs> right. you know what? I would love that. Like if if you could sort of like do an like a choose your own tour film adventure where it's like right. if, you, if you want the ops, like right before the tour starts and you get like three options, you could be like, you know, like slow version where it's like a shot every couple of seconds you know like it doesn't cut for right. a while and then yeah. there's maybe like the medium where it's like it's a little bit more you know rapid fire and then if you wanted the you know like seizure inducing rapid <laughs> fire cutting then you can choose that but i would love like right. give me and fine if that makes me old i don't care but i just want a yeah, slow a slower pace you know <laughs> exactly Slow it down, Granny. <laughs> yeah. Give me, give me like three different cameras, and then like a wide, a medium, and a close up, right. and, and then I'm fine. Exactly. You know, like I know. And we're set. <laughs> yeah. It's so easy. Come on, Madonna, do it for us. No, <laughs> I mean, because they have the footage. You know, like it's just a separate. Oh, yeah. It's just a separate edit. That's all it is. Totally. Um, did you buy oh, any one of the other? I oh, Yakov, sorry, merch. Uh, I did not buy any merch. Um, I just like. They just look like they fit so awkwardly, and I'm particular about like when it, I won't wear a shirt if it doesn't fit right. I feel like I'm swimming in it. I'm like, I'm not wearing this. Like, <laughs> no, I may buy some. I'm going to be like you. I may do do some online shopping later on after the tour if there's anything left. I have so many Madonna shirts, and like, I don't know. I don't need. I don't need a million more. Like, yeah, it's I, cool. I, I, there's some good ones. This, I really this tour. My drawer has filled up. Build up, yeah. I really love the Justin Teodoro ones. I really, I need to get one. They're great, um, but I think I can get that on his website too. I don't need to stand in line and, or is he no, not? They're on. Uh, they're on Madonna.com. You can get oh, them. They're on her website. site. Okay, yeah. cool, perfect. Um, one of the things too I wanted to mention, and I don't know if anyone else has said this from floor seats, but again, like I'm more of like I like seeing things from above and like just getting like a wide wide angle view of a show. Being on the floor, you see all of the like workings that go into like getting ready for the next song and stuff like that and it's really interesting i'm like oh my god they're already getting ready for live to tell like i didn't even know like stuff i just didn't notice yeah being so far up um you get a totally different perspective on the floor um and I've, i saw rebel heart on the floor too but i don't re really remember that i don't know maybe it's been a while so <laughs> um yeah that was about 10 years ago so I know, Jesus. We were talking about that. I went with a friend who I saw Rebel Heart with. So I'm like, Jesus, I can't believe it's been nine years. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, I, that is that is the fun of sort of you're in the on the floor seats. If you're close to the stages, you can sort of you get a peek behind the curtain a little bit. You know where it's right. Like you can see, oh, she's taking your attention over here on the left, right. while they prepare this on the right, or yeah. Oh, it's like because from further away, sometimes the lighting actually does mask the the spots right. on the stages where where they're not lit. Like on Die Another Day, I, yeah. the first couple times I saw it, I was further away. So that moment when all the lights go up and suddenly all of the dancers are all over yeah. the stages, I was like, "Oh my god, how did that happen?" When I was in the pit, I saw them, you know, getting yeah. into place oh, because man. you you can yeah. sort of see through the the darkness. But yeah, yep. it's 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 fun. It's it's a good. So no more celebration for you. This was this was it. 
this is it. Yeah, I know that was that's my my final. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe I'll meet you in Liberty in Austin or something. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I I know. Uh, I, I, it'd I be keep amazing. Che- but. I keep checking Ticketmaster and because I look, I I would love to do Austin, but if I'm going to fly to see her again, I want to be like in her yeah. crotch you know like i want to exactly. be like right up in her crotch <laughs> you know like so i'm like <laughs> totally and I, I, there's no pit tickets and there's no like and now maybe those tickets will be made available a little closer to the time fine but right I, like, I haven't booked i haven't booked i haven't jumped on the ticket yet you yeah you'll it'll if it's gonna if it's meant to be it's meant to be, but then you have to get there that's the thing and you're in philly it's like it's like a schlep all the way halfway across honestly the flying to austin is is not i i've seen some flights it's it's not fun it's like that's yeah, the thing i'm like the prices oh, are ridiculous it's not good however i will mention this for anyone listening who um d- missed out on the opportunity to purchase one of the coveted celebration tour rosaries i snatched up a toronto silver rosary um yes. which i will be reselling so if you'd like to help fund my trip to austin <laughs> to see the show one more time contact me <laughs> Slide into those DMs. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. Well, because I'm like, I, I bought one, and then I'm like, why am I buying a rosary? Right. I'm like, when when am I? I'm like, I'm when gonna, are you going to use this? Yeah. When when am I wearing this? And if I wear, I think it, it I'm would be nervous that it was going to break or something. Right. I want to see you walking around, rocking around town, holding your rosary. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I'll just I'll go to one of the churches in South Philadelphia on a Sunday right. morning holding my Madonna rosary. I'm sure right. they'll love it. All the ladies that. will love it. <laughs> All the ladies will love it. That's great. Oh God. Uh well, Justin, thanks for coming on the show. I know you yeah, had to get up had to get up early for the well, I mean, you've just you went to sleep in those clothes. So you just you just rolled yeah. out of bed to I did. I kind of did just roll out of bed. I did put the shirt back on because I'm like, <laughs> I have to I have to rep for the for the live. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but before you go, it's time for a little segment we like to call the lightning round. As you know, as a listener, these answers are meant to be quick off the top of your head wherever you're at in your Madonna journey. So don't think too hard. Favorite Madonna song? Nobody Knows Me. Oh, good one. Uh, follow up on that. Do you like album version or I'm going to tell you a secret slash reinvention tour version? Oh, the reinvention tour is so good. I just because of the visuals. Um, I do love the album version, though. Yeah, they, yeah. Well, actually, I wish that they hadn't taken. I'm going to tell you a secret, the, or the reinvention tour audio off of streaming because right. sometimes I'm in a mood for both. You know, like one time I'm right. like, oh, I want the album version. Mm, no, I want the live version. So the live version is so good. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Why is it off streaming? What the heck? I know there must have been. <laughs> I, I still to this day don't know why they took it off streaming, but it irritates me all the time. So. Yeah, it's really it's really frustrating. <laughs> uh, favorite Madonna album. American Life. Mm. Uh, favorite Madonna remix? Uh, Ray of Light, the Sasha Ultra Violet. Is that what it is? Sasha Ultra. Yeah, oh. Nice. I mean, right now, right now, it's my favorite. Um, there is that other one that's been that came out like a month ago. The Nothing Fails. It's a really long. Peter something. Uh, Peter Rohoffer. No, it's not Peter Rohoffer. It's another one. I'll send it to you. I'll DM it to you. But it's really, it's such a good song. I mean, I love Nothing Fails and I love a, a remix of it. So, but that's I love that you're second. such an, an American life stan. I am a stan. I know. I'm, I'm, why? Really it. I just love the album. I mean, I just love how controversial it is. Um, I just think she, that, that period of, I was in like, I was probably 23 when that album came out and it's like all the shit that was going on in the world. Mm-hmm. And she's just always on the right side of history, like calling out Bush and all that garbage that was happening in the Middle East. It was just fantastic. She's just, it's so ahead of its time. Yeah. Um, and it just doesn't, it doesn't get the credit it deserves in my opinion, but yeah. that's my, that's yeah, my show that's... soapbox for American life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, favorite Madonna music video. Um, what it feels like for a girl. I, I, I don't love Guy Ritchie like the rest of us, but um, it gets the Guy Ritchie vibes is, is epic. And I just think she looks awesome in it. Guy <laughs> Ritchie's vibe works for that video. 100%. Yeah. And I, I, do, I do like some of his movies. I think he's a talented director, but um, him as a person, I'm like, eh, he seemed like an asshole. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> treat treat our queen unfairly. You're trash. You know, like also he just doesn't seem like a very kind person in general. But I mean, I don't know. The same could be said about her. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think on 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 any given day we can we we all go through a, a wide variety Amen. of different moods. So ca- yes. ca- catch me uh, starving after like not being able to eat for a couple of hours, and I probably yeah. won't be your best friend either. Or another person, right? Exactly. Yeah. Catch me before I've had some caffeine. Mm-mm. Yeah, no. I haven't had any yet. You're my caffeine. <laughs> oh right God, now, I'm surprised. You should be drinking <laughs> along. Should be drinking along with it. Uh, favorite Madonna <laughs> music video um celebration i love the dress and i i i didn't realize in the concert they do that one of the dancers is just like that i didn't realize it the first two times i went and i was like the blonde wig the short blonde wig yeah yeah oh i'll have to check the footage on that i don't remember if i've seen because there's so many of them on stage i i don't think i knew all of the looks that are on display there oh that's fun that they and I, I love the League of Your Own. Uh, what I thought that was the such peaches, a great, yeah, like, yeah. so smart. Like, who thought of that? That was great. A couple of my friends commented on it too. I'm glad that they 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 got the got it because I mean, if you haven't if you haven't seen the movie in 30 years, you may have forgotten. <laughs> right. like, what is she wearing that for? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, favorite Madonna tour. Oh, seven. oh gosh. Um, Drown World. I just, it was the first one I ever saw. Um, it was oh, right fine. before 9 11. Sorry, there's a plane going over me. Um, and I just, it's just so theatrical. Um, mm-hmm. I could watch it over and over. It's kind of dark too. Um, it's weird because I guess I do kind of like more dark Madonna music, like American life. I'm not, yeah. I mean, I love the bubblegum pop stuff too, but. It's it takes a second. It takes Look, a back. There seat, were so. there were a couple moments in Drown World Tour where she she made it light. You know what I mean? Like as many people yeah, true. as many people because there are people who constantly oh, no, that tour was too dark. Mm, no, it was too dramatic. Yeah. This and that. And I'm like, um, she was pole dancing to beautiful stranger. Right. You know? Exactly. She, exactly. She was doing like that silly oh dear daddy country song yeah. you know like right there, there were many moments of levity in that and then some oh, also yeah. some very quintessential beautiful madonna moments where i'm like you know like we got quintessential like impressive instant you've got yes. you know like i love uh awesome. the the spanish version she does for uh, what it feels like for a girl, the yeah. dancing for that. La Isla Bonita, the music where she, you know, like the, with the deep knee squats and then holiday. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know. I don't, it, it, I always think it's strange when people are like, oh, no, I don't like Drown World Tour. I'm like, why? You know, why? Like, it's great. Yeah. I, I mean, maybe, maybe because there weren't some like, there wasn't no like a prayer, there was no Vogue, there, you know, like maybe right. that's what they were like expecting. But I'm like, well, but there's plenty of hits in that show. I don't yeah absolutely they want it they want the they want the 80s madonna a lot of people get they'll just get want that exact they want borderline and i'm like okay cool but like she's got a lot of hits so yeah, you're gonna have to pick and i choose. don't know i mean like when the when they drag those uh the sleeves off of her in in frozen and she goes into yeah like, you know i'm like yeah i don't know how you're not on board by that oh, when madonna's yeah. flying during flying, Sky Vitality, right. like, how are you yeah. not loving this i don't yeah. know yeah I mean, if you're not gagged at that, I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah. You have yeah. you have high you have a high bar. <laughs> I mean, I I went with a friend of mine, a, a dearly departed friend of mine, and he was freaking out when she was. Oh, I, bet. Now, I had seen it I the bet. night before, so I knew it was going to happen. Okay. He did not, and he was yeah. like, he had, had he was a little overserved, and he was like screaming so loud that she was flying. Like it was. It, oh it my god that's appreciate so cool. it all over again uh right. so yeah it was it was fun anyway sorry this is the longest lightning round in the world favorite madonna movie truth or dare yeah uh, yeah it's just fa- yeah. that's iconic madonna i mean you know yeah yeah favorite madonna look and this can be from a music video a tour a photo shoot i mean i really love that dress in, ce- in the celebration video i don't know why i just think it's so she, I just think she looks amazing in it. That's I don't know the thing. way it fits. So I don't know why. Like I, have, I have strange taste. Obviously, no. Like, it's just a, it's. <laughs> like, I don't think I've ever had anybody on the show say celebration, <laughs> you know, like for yeah. video or for look. It's uh, that's fascinating. Yeah. Well, leave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Justin, thanks again. Um, do you want to tell Thank everybody you. where they can find you on social, or don't you care about that? 
Um, I'm fine. I mean, most of these people will probably already follow me. Uh, I'm on Instagram. It's salad for days, and there's like four A's in days. So um, feel yeah. free to tag That's me. Right. That's right. I can never find I love, your, I I can never find your handle because I'm like, what? Oh, right. <laughs> salad. Right. Right. <laughs> you could also type in my name. So I should pull it up. But yeah. Uh, well, and remember, everybody, you can find us on Instagram, Twitter, and threads at MLBC Podcast. If you'd like to donate to the show, run Venmo at MLBC Podcast or smash that super thanks button give us a donation that way on youtube if you've not yet subscribed to our youtube channel tick that subscribe button so you never miss a video we're going live counting down tick tock tick tock only a couple weeks left uh we're going to be going live as much as possible i can't I can't do every show but i will do as many as i can so follow along and um, until next time everybody justin stay on the line we're just going to wave goodbye I will. and everyone enjoy the rest of your weekend bye everybody